I'm going to show you some of the strongest, longest lasting fragrances to give you the most enormous scent silage and scent bubble, starting with Montal Bois de Vanille. Now, if you don't know, this came out in 2007. It's an option that you could pick as the list continues. The fragrances will get better and better. This basically smells like a vanilla wood fragrance. It starts out kind of lemony and ends up deliciously sweet, sugared, vanilla wood that lasts eternally until you wash it off and it produces a nice thick cloud around you. Now, if you read any sort of magazines or blogs about this, everyone that tests it talk about these little two milliliter scent sprayers that they're using and I don't think that's a proper way. This came officially from the Montal company. The bottle has the batch codes written on the back. It's right there. Price tag is about $100 on the internet for that. The next one you should consider, that will get you the most compliments and leaves a real nice central when you're walking down the, wa the street or walking down the office corridors as of course Creta Ventus. Now normally this would be on the number one on the list but it's so heavily used we're going to put it up near the top of the list. As the list continues we've got more fragrances from Montal Nishane even Yves Saint Laurent. Now Creta Ventus is a pineapple Berkwood scent that simply gets the job done. You will get compliments within and 45 minutes is my estimated time. You can spray this upwards of six to eight times. The Bois Vanille, I would only recommend you spray this twice to three times maximum. Now let's get started with some real good fragrances. This is a tester I bought called Parfums de Marly Carlisle, another fragrance that you should only spray three times on the back. It gives you the note breakdown. To give you an idea, one of my good friends has this fragrance and his wife absolutely loves it on him, more than the Harad that he owns and more than the Leighton. Those are other two fragrances made by the same company. If you don't know, this is about $350. It came out in 2015. Now the prices have dropped and it's more easily attainable. Back in 2015, it was very exclusive to some over the country in the United Kingdom. I believe Hey Rods had the exclusivity to it. You start out with a green appy, apple earthy note in here and it opens up with the patchouli and the apples together. It's got a powerful sweet tobacco masculine fragrance that does make you feel upscale and you can wear it casual business smart. I don't think shorts would work with this but sweet cardamom in here alongside some of them some sort of creamy vanilla rose. It gives you a smoky, sweet sensation and very, very high quality, enormous scent silage. Huge longevity, 12 hours, and the projection is like a Tonka vanilla dry down. If you wanted to try something cheaper than this, you might consider Mansura's Red Tobacco. It's a similar genre scent to this. It's a lot less expensive. As the list continues, we're going to move on to this one. It's one of my favorites for this spring weather. As the weather changes from cold to spring to warmer, these fragrances are beautiful. Saffron, ginger, and two kinds of oranges inside Instant Crush. You have sweet oranges and bitter oranges. All hand-selected natural ingredients from the coast of Italy. You've got some patchouli and sandalwood. It gives it this white musk. It also has some light Madagascar vanilla in here. The saffron rose opening in Instant Crush reminds you of this very, very expensive fragrance called Baccarat Rouge 540. We're going to get to that in a second. It's loud. It's not quiet, but it's mass appealing, and you can get away with a blind buy. It's This is done in a mass appealing way, and either men or women can wear it. It's got a pressurized sprayer. When you leave the room, if you were in a restaurant, if you were in a doctor's office, when you leave the room, you will be noticed. They're like, oh, Chris just left. Jerry just left. Whoever your name is, this this lingers around the room after you left. The longevity for me was a solid 7 to 10 hours. It's a sugary, fruity fragrance. Here's another tip. If you are a waiter or someone that serves people, especially a waiter because your people are sitting down low and you might hand them their drink, you spray a shot on your hand and especially this Bois Vanille that I was talking about, this will get you a compliment right away if after you're serving and you put just one little shot on your hand, you know, because you don't want to wear too much fragrance. All the fragrances on this list are, for the most part, except for the last one, safe to wear, especially tested for people who have 
sensitive nose is because I had a challenge recently went out of town and the person I was with had very sensitive to fragrances so I wore this fragrance Baccarat Rouge which is the next one on the list it's made by a guy named Francis Kirktigen who is Francis Kirktigen he made that fragrance called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail it's got soft floral sweet jasmine and saffron it has this cat and candy cat and con cotton candy vibe to it it lasts eight hours and the best part about it is when the wind blows it just smells amazing it's very very versatile the person i was with was like that's a lot of fragrance i only sprayed twice and that was four hours later but she could she did accept it in other words it didn't attack her sinuses which means it's a very high quality fragrance some people only can accept high quality natural ingredients fragrances just like this baccarat rouge if you wanted a similar scent cheaper that has coconut and whipped cream try ariana grande's cloud the opening of cloud smells just like the baccarat rouge but maybe a lighter version of it. But then the cloud turns into a more sweet almond albergris, slightly vanilla, fun cotton candy, very sweet fragrance. Some of the people and influencers recommend this for men, and I see you could do that. It smells very good in different cooler temperatures. A better one that you might consider to recommend. That's if you want this Baccarat Rouge in a more masculine way. I found this Tiziana Terenzi Spiritio Fiorentino, which gives you this Baccarat Rouge Saffron Jasmine Rose with the added smokiness to it and it does last a long time it's got a little bit of an orange start off and you've got lily of the valleys in here and precious musk and a difference in this one is it uses leather the first 10 minutes of this fragrance Tiziana Terenzi Spiriotto Fiorentino has some smokiness from the saffron and you can smell the light florals and the ambergris gives it the very long lasting DNA that you want it gives it a pleasant sweet damp earthy forest like DNA after the dry down. Guess how long this lasts? 10 to 15 hours. Huge silage. Appropriate for 25 years and up. The Baccarat Rouge is easily 20 and up and Cloud can be personally 10 teenagers up to 60. Next fragrance that's delicious. That'll get compliments as a huge scent trail. It's called Nishani Hasivat. This is made in Turkey, Istanbul, not Constantinople. This is called Hasivat. One spray on my hand walking around garners me compliments just like that. It's like magic. The whiffs of the air. This thing just gives you the scent trail all around. This thing is cr is what you call an addictive fragrance. People will want to smell you. The best part of it is the dry down it just smells so good and it has this like creamy undertone to it a touch of slight smoke to it light creamy sexual addictive craving fragrance that does have pineapple grapefruit way above average scent trail silage scent bubble whatever you want to call it nishane hasivat is highly recommended by me it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time here's a new one i'd like to try out if you like the taste of gin, booze, and liquor, and a little touch of apple citrusy notes, you can try this. Yves Saint Laurent Lhomme Ultime. This is mega hard, long-lasting projection for being a fresh fragrance. All of that because it's a fresher fragrance with that spicy, zingy, citrusy gin note. This made the list, and it does cost a little bit, like $80, one of the most affordable on the entire list and the best one for compliments and extremely getting noticed and best scent trail and just blowing up nuclear is this lavender pepper cumin fragrance and it's none other than spice bomb extreme the spices in here really highlight the clean lavender you know what lavender is it's those little florals that are slightly purple and lavender when you spray lavender anyways it, it lowers your blood pressure and releases the stress levels in your blood it's called lavender oil that's also in here so that that's a double positive when you buy it and that's why this is so popular fabian baron designed this cool bomb like grenade bottle the scent sprayer on this is very massive and smells just delicious right there nice sweet and spicy notes hey to help others help you, comment down below if you've heard of any of these fragrances we just talked about and give us your take or maybe offer a different suggestion. That way everyone can come on here and know about fragrances. And I've noticed on a few of the last videos, one of our viewers helped another viewer ask the question and I just love that, helping others help you smell better. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna do a hidden gem video tomorrow. See you soon, peace and love.